Brian Burge's lawn was his pride and joy. But when a wild boar came looking for food, this was the result. Grubs and worms and all that different stuff. That's what's happening. That's what they're after. I do like nature, but these have got out of control. They're really out of control. Once commonplace in the UK, wild boar were hunted to extinction in the 1600s. But in the Forest of Dean 12 years ago, around 60 farmed animals were illegally dumped and numbers have increased ever since. This year, the Forestry Commission says it's receiving a growing number of complaints about damage to gardens and properties in neighbouring towns and villages. Well, the boar have very powerful noses, a strong cartilage in the end of the nose, which they use to turn over and root deep into the soil, lift these turfs and these clods, especially now in the, in the autumn where the ground's that much softer, worms are closer to the surface, they're no longer staying in the forest, they're increasingly expanding their, their ranges, foraging in the more built-up areas. The impact and damage has been profound. People's gardens, lawns, verges have been just ripped to pieces by these animals. When they're close, they, they do charge at you, and I've been charged three or four times uh, by great big boar. They're uh, massive. Since 2008, a controlled cull of boar has taken place in the forest each year, but the most recent analysis by the Forestry Commission has left some questioning its effectiveness. It's thought there are currently around 1,500 wild boar here in the Forest of Dean. Last year, the figure was around 1,000, so that's a 50% increase in numbers, despite the cull. Doesn't that suggest the cull isn't working? Well, it would indicate that the cull's not high enough. In other populations of wild boar in continental Europe, for instance, that really control the numbers is harsh weather, and food availability. We don't get that in this country, we don't get the harsh weather, particularly in southern England. We need to understand the boar's behaviour. David Slater believes culling is magnifying the problem. We have many orphans now, many orphan piglets, they're just running around. They escape on their own and go into, into villages, near pubs, um, where they haven't been taught by the mother to avoid us. So you think the culling of the mothers is making that situation worse? Yes. There are many suggestions. Expand the cull, try and physically contain the animals, or just accept the damage they do. Living close to nature can pose many questions.